Okay, here's some food for thought. And God literally dropped this on me when I was sitting on the couch earlier eating my brunch. And I was just thinking about how there are some things that I'm trusting God for and the instructions he's been giving me to prepare for them have been seeming eerily simple, okay? Where I feel like I'm supposed to be doing more to receive what he's about to do in my life. And he's been telling me, no, like kick it back and chill, do bloop, 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 and then you're done. And I'm thinking I gotta do bloop, 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 bloop. And he's like, no. And so basically what he said is, if one day is like a thousand years to me, and a thousand years is like one day, how much more will my instructions for you to prepare for whatever you're trusting me for exceed and supersede your understanding? And basically what he's saying is, I know what I'm preparing you for more than you do. I'm planning on taking you by surprise. Like I've been giving you nuggets here and there so you know what I'm about to do. Like, you know I'm about to come through for you, but you don't know exactly how, you don't know exactly when, you don't know exactly where, through who, or through what. You know, like he still wants to take us by surprise. And so he's saying, because only I know how this thing is gonna come to pass, I know best how you should prepare for that thing. Because we have such a limited understanding of what it is that God is doing, because we can only see it really from our perspective because we're us and we're living it and we're not him and we don't have his understanding of things. We're assuming that we have to do this whole checklist of extraneous work just to qualify for what it is that God told us he's already gonna do for us. Because it's already ours, thank you Holy Spirit, because it's already ours, because it's a done deal, God is just saying he wants us to partner with him in the faith. Okay, you've done the hard work. You've done the hard preparation. All God wants is for you to simply say, yes, your final yes to what he's doing. And because it's already done, it's already on its way to you. There's not much for you to do to prepare, okay? He literally put it on my heart to fast. I'm thinking three days, like no water, no food. And he's like, no, 24 hours, no food. You can have beverages. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, he put it on my heart to clean the house. And I clean like every other week or every two weeks or so. And I'm thinking, okay, let me just mop the floors. Let me sweep, let me wipe the counters. Let me dust, let me do the whole shebang. And he was like, no, just sweep and wipe the counters. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And so what he's been putting on my heart really heavily as of late is that we need to remember He's the one doing the heavy lifting, not us. He's the one who's backing this thing and all he wants us to do is partner with him in faith. If he's telling you to rest, rest equals faith. You resting shows that you know he's got it taken care of and you simply being obedient shows that you know he's got it taken care of and there's nothing for you to stress out about. And honestly, us feeling like we need to do more, it's pride, okay? He dropped this on me earlier and I was like, well, you know, it's pride. It's us thinking we know better than him. It's us thinking we know what it means to truly prepare for a blessing better than him. And we know nothing compared to him because he's God. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but I think it was such a beautiful gem, something worth sharing for sure. And um, just be encouraged. If God is giving you simple instructions, remember that he's the one performing the miracle. What heavy lifting is there for you to do? All there is for you to do is trust that he's going to come through for you so that he can get the glory, okay?